here we are. We have Ave Rose and Taylor's Forge from the show Steampunk <laughs> at Wild Wild West Steampunk Convention. You gotta look at her beautiful stuff that she's doing. Right now, this is Taylor's um, wonderful chauffeurs. Uh, okay. chauffeurs. And my corset. And her corset, which she handmade herself. Should be award winning corset. <laughs> look at the stitching in there. This is some like stitching. That, yeah. Her, uh, pieces. Which I'm wearing comfortably. Yeah, so check. this is what her, her air coats look like on. Taylor, have you enjoyed your, this is your first yes. Marvelous Con, have you enjoyed it? I loved it. I loved doing the panels and I also like watching the panels. It's much more comfortable and of course being here at my booth. And uh, seeing the people that are passing through is really, really fun and getting to meet people I've never met before because it's my first time being able to actually stay in Arizona and actually get to interact with the community here. So, were there people who came up to you who have seen you on the show? Yes, I had quite a few people who had seen me on the show, especially in our panel that we did yesterday. Yeah. They were like almost everybody in the room, it was like packed, and almost everybody had seen the show. And were uh, happy to come up to us and talk about you know, what we did on that So, Ave, what's it like uh, here at the con? What's your highlight so far? Um, actually, the highlight is seeing my fellow contestants, uh, Taylor, <laughs> uh, Charles, Tobias. Uh, we really bonded when we were on the show and I just love Wild Wild West Con. It's my favorite con so far because the people are amazing and the atmosphere is beautiful. There's this cacti all around and it's green. You come up the hills and you just see mountains and mountains of cacti and we're actually in an old western town that they use for the, the movies. A full-blown old western town. So there's a saloon and there's horses and there's a carousel. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a true steampunk fantasy. It's perfect for taking pictures. So good for taking pictures. <laughs> Excellent. And this time it's a, um, it's it's steampunk around the world. Yeah. And she yesterday she wore this beautiful kimono that was a, a remake of the kimono that she made on the show, which actually made her head maker for the next episode. She was team captain, so it was cool that she was able to recreate that for for all her fans. I couldn't keep that, so I was very happy to actually have some a kimono that I can keep and actually wear at all these conventions now. And she's been busy running around doing like panels and uh, this girl knows a lot and she's actually very patient and happy to teach people, unlike me. <laughs> Give you one of the handouts for the course of making. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm bad at that stuff. You see how easy that was? You just be nice on camera for like a minute, you know? All right, your minute's up. <laughs> So I'm talking to Charles. Hello. He uh, was one of the stars from Steampunk and did quite well on the show. He was probably the most beloved, uh, lovable character on the, well, you're a person, but you're also <laughs> a character on the show. Is it, do you have any, anything to say to your fans out there? I, I really do enjoy having you all around. The love that you share, the, the stories that you tell me, the, the camaraderie. This is why I keep coming back. This is why it grows me as a person to, to be stronger. And I wouldn't be anything without any, any of you guys. So I want to thank you. Oh, that is so wonderful. How have you uh, liked the Wild Wild West Steampunk Convention? This is my first experience being at this con and it is just beautiful. I, I, oh man, the, the sets, the people, the reenactments, <laughs> the food. Oh, <laughs> it's it's a, an experience that you can't actually tell someone. You actually have to live it and be here to feel it. <laughs> Take your money and go, boy! Go for some man up! Uh, what's your name? My name is Cedric Whitaker. I am captain of Airship Isabella. Yes. Uh, where are you? We are here in Tucson, Arizona at the old Tucson Studios for Wild Wild West Con 5. How's it going? It is going epically. This is day number three. 
Um, everybody's having a blast coming out and, and mixing a little bit of the Wild West with the way the Wild West should have been. So, so uh, you're sporting some steampunk warrior realness right now. This is our. This is what we call our post apocalypse. <laughs> it's it's taking steampunk and mixing a little apocalyptic into it. Uh, the basis behind it is if man does what man does, they're going to build weapons and they'll use them. So if the apocalypse didn't happen in say the 1980s, 1960s, if it went back to the 1880s or the 1860s, what would the apocalypse have looked like after that point? So that's kind of where we take it. Oh, that's really clever. That's a really good idea. Okay. So, um, what's your uh, highlight here? Oh, first of all, you're from New Orleans, right? We're originally from New Orleans. Yeah, we're, we drove 1,400 miles. We do. We've been doing this. Is our fifth year coming out here, okay. and it's a long trip, but we look forward to it every year. Any spectacular highlights that you would like to relate? Uh, this year, one of the really cool things was getting to hang out with a lot of the guys that uh, we don't. We only get to see on Facebook because we're forced. We're stretched all over the country. So this year, Wawa Westcon brought us in all together. And so like Ave and you know Thomas and, and Cato and, and all these guys, we get a chance to hang out for a little bit and sit down and actually get to, to see each other face to face, which we don't get to do that often. Who are you? I am Tobias McCurry, um, and I have no voice right now. Now, you were uh, recently on a, a popular GSN reality show, is that not correct? Mm. For a very short amount of time, I was on the hit television show, Steampunked. Now, had you ever been on a, a television show before? Um, I have not. What was it like? Uh, very, very stressful, very confined, especially with that type of show. Uh, I have done some, yeah. like, film stuff as an extra, not, not really, like, on a TV show. Mm -hmm. um, but being part of the game show is a very, very different experience from what you would have in any kind of other production area. That's right. So, has it gotten you any opportunities? Uh, I am here, so that's kind of like an opportunity. So, uh, so you were able to uh, go here, they, they invited you here, is that it? Yes, absolutely. It was awesome. I was very excited that they invited me. I've never been to this convention, I've wanted to go for probably the past two or three years. Where are you from? I am from Seattle, Washington. That's fantastic. Uh, it was great meeting you. Yes, likewise. Thank you. Do you have anything to say to your fans out there? Uh, you guys are way cooler than I am. <laughs> so this is the butterfly dream machine. I need my Ave Rose. And what's your name? Melanie. This is Melanie. She's operating the machine at the Steampunk Museum. I am Professor Adam Smasher. I'm an East Coast steampunk personality. Uh, I have a steampunk musical acoustical duo known as the Eternal Frontier. And um, I am also a Starburner Galactic Courier Service Agent, number 16, which is typically a West Coast uh, award. But I was the very first steampunk on the East Coast to be awarded that honor. And <laughs> we perform acoustical. <laughs> Steampunk themed originals and cover tunes. Ah, I see. Are you uh, performing uh, this weekend at Wild Wild West Steampunk Con? Well, I did sit in with John Sprocket from The Cog is Dead, which was a dream come true, more or less. Uh, John is, a, is a, an acquaintance of ours, and uh, I consider him a friend. I won't go as far as to say that he considers <laughs> <laughs> best of friends or anything, but um, yes, John's a, a, just a sweetheart of an individual and a, and a luminary in the uh, steampunk community as far as singer-songwriter and storytelling. He's just phenomenal and just a wonderful, wonderful human being on top of everything else. And this is a most splendiferous event. How could you not enjoy yourself? Arizona is so beautiful, especially getting away from the East Coast where we had four inches of snow this week uh, to come here and it's 80 degrees. And um, you know, I have a lot of Western wear that I don't typically get to wear uh, at the cons. Uh, oh, Professor you mind has if I pull back and oh, sure, sure. Uh, today I'm channeling uh, James West from the Wild Wild West. You're quite spectacularly dressed. I really love your fashion. Thank you very kindly, my good man. Very smartly dressed. I love the accessories. Very nice lines. Thank you very kindly. Oh, this is